Steve, you're supposed to get a nine foot tree. I don't know what I bought. I've got the rest of the room to decorate. Okay, this is my issue. Uh huh. You guys, I have a huge debate to settle here. I actually have. <gasps> Well, hello and welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and my house is in chaos at the moment. <laughs> I normally hide all this from the internet, but uh, I was thinking maybe I would actually show you how we actually decorate our house for the season instead of just showing you the completed job. This isn't like a one day thing. Like I usually can't get all of this done in a day, especially when it's our first room because we've got an entire house to decorate for the holidays inside and out. We've got painters literally right outside the window painting the exterior of the home. Uh, I've got one sick with a fever, another one that's got a wisdom tooth that's got issues. So far, Landon's doing all right, but uh, the house is kind of chaotic. I actually think there's a lot of you that understand this because the holidays are kind of hectic. There's a lot going on, but this is the time of year when we really just hunker down and focus on making the season special and bright, and so, I have got a lot of work to do to get this room ready for the holidays. This is where we're gonna be celebrating Christmas morning. It's where we entertain a lot. I'd love to have friends and family over to have drinks during the holidays. We love to have parties, and I think this year we'll actually get to have, we'll get to have a lot more hosting opportunities this year than we've had in the last few years, and I am so excited about that because we have always loved having a house full of guests. So I hope you'll hit subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and uh, let me know if you guys are decorating yet for the holidays, if you've already got it up, or if you're waiting until Thanksgiving. I know everyone's kind of got their time when they like to do it, but we're gonna get started and I can't wait. Okay, so you probably have noticed that there's a pile of boxes to one side. <laughs> and if you watched my Friday with the vlog, that's where we kind of show you guys behind the scenes stuff, what's going on, places we're going, and all that kind of stuff. This is a pile of a few different things. I've got some new deliveries, I've got some new garland because last year I did not order enough of my garland. The other thing I have in here is the Christmas tree. That was sent to us last year by Balsam Hill and it is beautiful. The issue is, is that my husband Jack <laughs> decided that he thought it would be prettier if we had the flock tree in here. And so I put up a little poll on my Instagram and 75% of people said that they would prefer for there to be a real tree, the real look without the flocking. Uh, and so he got vetoed. However, the 25% are very vocal and so is my husband. So I was thinking that before we actually decorate this thing, maybe we should try both and see what we think. What do you guys think about that? Is that insane? It is kind of insane. Okay, so uh, Jack? Did I hear Jack? Yes, Block Jack tree. Block Tree. Yeah, I don't have my glasses on. So. <laughs> That's all right, they can still see you. <laughs> Did you say go on the foge on the Flock Tree? Well, I heard? I, I'm not sure. Do you want to take this down and put the Flock Tree up? But you have to be willing to put this back up if I like that better. I'll do it. Okay, if you want that, then I need you to do it now okay. before we start bringing up piles and piles of things so I can take a clear picture okay. with the flock and then we will choose. <laughs> That's a good look for you, sweetie. Oh, huh. <laughs> woo, woo. <laughs> I show too much. I show too much skin there. But there is a slip. A big one. You're gonna leave it right down the butt crack? Right here. <laughs> it's going nowhere. Oh, and while he's getting the other tree, I ordered a mirror for my fireplace. I know, I know. I finally, after six years, ordered a mirror. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. <laughs> I'm gonna make you wait because I have to wait to see it. It's not gonna be here in time for the reveal right now of the space, but it will be coming before Thanksgiving, so we will get to enjoy it for the holiday season. I really just wanted to complete the room. I really just wanted it to feel really classic in here. The little modern twist, so I think it's gonna be amazing. Oh, and here he goes. Let's see how long this one takes. Well, it says pull here. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Ooh, that's cool. Ah, this is why I'm like, no flock trees. Oh, but they're so worth it. You are the one that has complained the most. Because that one was different. Really? I don't think this so. This one changes colors. 
We're not having it change in colors. No, we're not having it change in colors. No. No. We're keeping it white. Thank you. We're, we're not keeping gonna, it white. We're not using the remote control that comes with it that changes between 12 different color options. Does it really come with that? Yeah. Well, we're not using it. <laughs> oh, throw it in the trash can. <laughs> master me. All right, here is the color light master. I am master of light. Yes, you are. Okay, hold on. <laughs> the little lights aren't twinkling, Clark. Well, there's one reason. <laughs> No batteries. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, what was that? <gasps> what is that? You got the twinkle lights. Party. Isn't that cool? Ooh, twinkle color. We're not doing twinkle color, except for on occasions when Landon is specifically in the room. Maybe Landon wants a tree in his room. I think this is too tall for Whoa. his room. Is this a nine foot tree? No, seven and a half. Maybe you were supposed to get a nine foot tree. Or maybe it's nine foot, yes. It's nine foot. <laughs> you were supposed to get a nine foot tree. I don't know what I bought. We have a two story room. I don't know what I bought. Ooh. I was in a happy mood. Fill up the carts. I really like that twinkle light thing it was doing. All right. So, oh, oh, we got lights. There we go. Lynn, you want to do the honors and pull the string? What do I do? Just pull the string and see if it just whoop. Pull. <laughs> pull hard. Go, 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 go. That was it. That's on that too. <laughs> The, the mom in me is like, let them have the tree that they want. The designer in me is like, mom gets what mom wants. Okay, this is my issue. Uh huh. I like the tree. I don't hate the flocking, even though it's gonna make a mess and you're gonna clean it up. Uh, but we just bought all greenery that's green. That's true. And I don't know if that's gonna look weird with the mix flocked next to unflocked right next to each other. I agree with you. I don't know how those look. Well then why don't you get me some greenery? Those boxes right here. Let's open these boxes up. Okay. And let's grab the greenery. Okay, but I will admit first that the tree is beautiful. And I've ordered all the greens for this room. <laughs> Which are gorgeous. I would, everything, everything you that just I've did. ordered, yeah. you'd have to return all of it because I'm not gonna need it now and reorder everything. So um, unless you love it that much, I don't think this is going to work. I don't think it's gonna work. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, you guys let us know should we have just changed everything or should we just go back to green? Because you know, even when this video goes live, I'll still be debating it. <laughs> We've got the rest of the room to decorate. We haven't gotten anything done it's yet. A 30 minute detour. A 30 minute detour on the tree here. We need to get the room done, people. I know. Uh, now, we haven't even brought up the ornaments yet. No, it is a mess. <laughs> it's a real mess. I can't breathe. I'm so stressed out. <laughs> you know what happens and helps with stress? Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee. That's right, let's get some coffee. Yeah. So I've got a box here from A Floral, which is where the garland on the fireplace is from. And I've also ordered these branches, which I think are going to be absolutely gorgeous, sitting in a big vase, just kind of overflowing. Camera overheated and so have I, so I'm gonna go and switch into something uh, Less warm. It's about to hit 80 degrees here in Atlanta, so I'm a little bit bummed because I really want to have fire going while we do this. Wear the sweater dress. Even though Jack has the air conditioning turned way down, it's still too hot even for me. One of the things that I'm going to be doing is that I'm actually going to be switching out this lamp in here. The reason why is that I'm going to be bringing in a ton of gold accents into this space. I've got actually really pretty mercury glass lamp. Do you guys remember that from when it was in my office that I found at Pottery Barn literally like three or four years ago? I might put that here because I really miss that lamp. It is a little bit more traditional, but I'm gonna go for a little bit more glam look in here. So I'm gonna take the black out and then I'm gonna just bring in more golds and silvers and you're gonna see a lot of that brought into the space. Okay, right, I'm gonna take this out, switch this up and Jack has just put the tree back up so now we're gonna be bringing up all the ornaments and sorting through everything. So I don't think we're gonna finish this job. If we finish it tonight, I will be shocked. 
I don't think it's gonna get done tonight. It's probably gonna be tomorrow before we're finally getting this finished, but that's okay. Uh, then we'll be really organized for all the other rooms and they'll go way faster, but all right, back to work. wanted to take just a moment and thank our video sponsor for today which is decenio and you guys know we absolutely love decenio we love their artwork they are a treasure trove for art pieces they are one of our absolute best go-to sources we find so much artwork from them for our clients it's super affordable it's vast there's really nothing that you're gonna want that they're not gonna have. I mean, they just have everything from abstract art, impressionist, they've got um, modern, they've got everything you can think of, they're, they've got it. Black and white photography, travel, it's, it's wonderful. It's somewhere that we have sourced for years for our clients and for our own home. And I have actually not put anything up in this little hallway. I've kind of left it just alone. I'm gonna go a little bit more classic. I'm gonna put some art pieces up in here and Desenio has yet again sent me so many beautiful pieces. I've got this gorgeous one. I was thinking this little black and white would be so pretty sitting right here. Uh, so I thought I'd put that one here and then I've got this little back hole, this little back area. I've got one little wall right as you leave and I was thinking I could put, I've got these that are like little pictures of France I've got this one with the little croissant and coffee, and I've got this one with a pretty door. And so I thought it'd be really nice to just put a little set just right there on the little wall. So I really love to get their frames and their art pieces. They really do have some really nice frames. You can see here where they're made of wood. They've got the black, they've got the natural, they've got um, metal, they've got, sorry, they've got a lot of different choices. So if you wanna try, oh my gosh, right now they have seasonal ones, and I was eyeing those, I was like, a little seasonal look back here. I could do that. So I might just start with these and then I might just place another order because they've given me an amazing discount code. It's incredible. So you can go to decenio.com and use my code House of Valentina 55 for 55% off prints. Personalized is excluded, but you can also get 10% off of the frames. This is only good through November 28th. So you gotta jump quick and go ahead and use it but I am telling you, this would make incredible, my mom was actually eyeing this little piece. So I was thinking I might actually buy her this piece. You can buy it framed. It's so affordable to have the art piece and the frame. You can wrap it up and make it beautiful for somebody. And it's something that they'll really be able to keep. Thank you so much Desenio for sponsoring our video and always hooking us up, which is just such beautiful art pieces. We really appreciate it. And I know you guys are gonna love it. So now Jack is just about done. We've got the tree up. I've got the lamp up and I'm just about done going through the boxes, but I've got a couple more things to show you. Let me show you what else I got. One of the things that I noticed in my pictures last year was that my star was just a little bit small on this ginormous tree. Don't you think so? The little mercury one? Yeah. You, you pulled it out and it was just a little bit small. Scale was a little bit yeah. small. <laughs> What'd you do? So I went for the humongous one in these sort of like copper colors. Ooh. That's gorgeous. Now I know it's like, you know, like a thing to put the star up on the tree, but I think you're the only one that can reach that high up. I think so. Do you think you could put it up? I really want to see how it looks. Yeah. Because in the picture, it glows more of like a copper color, which is what I was really wanting. More of like a brown color okay. than like that silver color. I actually don't know that I can do this. I may have to get the big ladder. Um, you can literally just like, Please don't fall. Hey Jack, I think you could scoot the stool in. The stool is not as close as you can get it. Look at that. <laughs> he moves the stool in closer. Oh, that's easy. Averts disaster. Avert your eyes. <laughs> While his son watches from above. <laughs> just push that down. Yeah, and just kind of squeeze that down. There you go. Well, I have to say the size definitely works. And actually, it looks like it's the same color as the rest of the lights. I'll fix the straightening in a minute, but. Yeah, they can't see it. Let me, let me move you guys around so you can see it. There we go. There we go. What do we think? What do we think? We'll have to still straighten it. Just The tree is actually leaning just a hair to the left anyways. To the left? Yeah. So you said that way? Yes. What do you think, Lando? I like it. You like it? Well, you're 
Yeah, I gotta get, you guys gotta, can you come down and help dad carry stuff up? I still have to get all of these boxes undone. guys, I have a huge debate to settle here. I've ordered two tree skirts. I've got this one, which is absolutely amazing from Pottery Barn. It's huge and it's fluffy oh, it's so and fluffy. yeah. Uh, the other one though is this black silk, which is beautiful. Oh my word. Okay, so we've got the black, which is like a silk. That's gorgeous. Look I've never seen that. Fabric on that. I've never seen a tree skirt like this. I know, but this is my thing: is we already have all this black over here. Yeah, you know, if this would be a lot it. of black. You would just be black, black. Yeah. I'm which one really... goes well with this? Since See, we have that's what I was picturing. Little was like orbs this. rolling all over the house right now. <laughs> I know. Does that go with the fur? There are so many of these. They're so beautiful. <laughs> All right, that one's, you know which one. Okay. Well, good morning. As you can tell, we have been hard at work in the space. I'm just struggling right now because I bought the little, you can kind of see up there, I bought the little ornament little garland from CB2 and I just feel like I had something else that I kind of thrown up there and it just looked too flat. So I'm trying to figure out how to fluff everything and then the garland that I got for the entire banister, I barely had enough. I mean barely. And it's all sold out of course online. Um, I'll try to link to stuff that's similar to what I've got but then um, let me show you. I've really been enjoying dressing this tree this year. I absolutely love all these brown tones. I really wanted to fill the tree out this year. Rather than going for a more Scandinavian look, I wanted to go for a little bit more of like a classic. Really, the words ringing through my head have been classic modern. It's all I can think about. It's not contemporary. It's just sort of clean lines, classic. Like this room will be beautiful five years from now, 10 years from now, 25 years from now. I just. I want that kind of lasting quality to what I'm doing and I'm hoping that that's what I'm going to achieve. So I made these little ornaments from CB2 and the little pine cones I got off Amazon are just beautiful. I've got my Waterford ornament kind of tucked in here and I've used the depth this time on the tree. So because I've got the tree here, I don't want this to go over the edge. So I was thinking that I could add some of this up here as kind of a baseline because I feel like the little cypress one is just a little bit too underwhelming. But I was thinking that I would just use these to just kind of give it some more depth. I was thinking that maybe these are kind of throwing things off uh, because okay. they're so specific as to where they are. So I was thinking maybe I'll take this out, build the garland, decide whether this goes in because normally what I would do yeah is add the ornaments in afterwards. You're right. In specific locations. Like I always put ornaments like up here. Like places. Yeah, but I think maybe trying to put this in and I've got to make sure the color kind of goes with the tree. These go. Those but the garland I had up here before was too yellow. Okay. And it looked weird. Okay. So, all right, let's just, uh, you go make me a peppermint. Yes, place. I will do that. <laughs> and I'll mess with this. How about okay. Thank you. You're welcome. These are actually just really cheap ones like they're really really cheap from i actually bought them from a yard sale so uh they were having a big christmas sale like they had all their christmas decor and we had just moved back from being overseas and had nothing so i just bought a bunch of these and i've been using them for years just as kind of fillers because they're not pretty by themselves and you can spruce them up and make them look a little bit better but they kind of look kind of eh by themselves because they're really just not very big but you can add to them. I really wanted it to have like this sort of like draping down kind of feel and I've been trying to figure out how I was gonna get that to work. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the little pine pieces. Can you guys see that? Just a piece of that pine and I'm gonna wrap it into it. 
because that is so heavy that I can just kind of wrap that into this and it makes it look like it's really deep and it's all one piece, but it also keeps it from falling off the fireplace and gives me that sort of draping that I've been trying to figure out how I was going to do that might actually work. <gasps> ah! Okay, I might need to do a little bit more. <laughs> Jack, help me. <laughs> I didn't quite get that piece in there yet. Well, you guys. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Yeah. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me one thing. Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be alright These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true That was a crazy couple of days, but I think it all came together This is my favorite, and maybe I say this every single year, but I mean it yeah. This is my favorite living room we've ever had. Me too. I keep walking in and now that it's done, I feel like I can relax and actually like look at it. <laughs> Enjoy it for a moment. I don't, still don't think you've sat on a couch and went. <sighs> no, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> I'll do that in a minute when we have our, our little uh, champagne. Yes, but we, uh, we just thought this is such a special moment. Uh, we, of course, love to go a little bit over the top for the holidays, but we love the fact that we also get to share a lot of ideas that are fun for you guys to steal. And I think in this room, I was trying to decide what my favorite thing was. And I have to tell you, I went very different this year with the Christmas tree and I really just filled it out. And this yes. year, I was like, I want something that's glamorous. I want Waterford crystal. Yeah. I was thinking of my grandmother this whole time while we were doing this and the Christmases huh. at her home. And I think when we remember the people that we love at the holidays, it's like they're here with us. And I know. Well, you told me stories. I never got to meet her, but you told me stories about how they would just celebrate and just, it was just, it was warm and there were people everywhere. And it was just, and I, yeah. when you said that, I was like, that's what <laughs> it we- It made me cry. It just, well, you are her. That, so. I feel like you are like her embodied now. So she still lives on, which is beautiful. That but, makes me very happy. And but, I think that's what the holidays are all yeah. about is these moments where we cherish the ones that we have with us, the ones that we miss and the ones that we're away from and setting a beautiful stage and something that reminds us of those things that are good and the things that give us joy in life. To me, that's why we do what we do. And yeah. that's why we love to share all this with you. And I hope that it just leaves you feeling inspired. I hope that the, the garland being hung like this and just layering that those pieces in, lighting the candles, the room smelling so good. Yeah, I was gonna say, since you're talking about garland, that is my favorite thing of this room is this one shot yeah. where there's the garland on top and those silver balls yeah. on the bottom. Because it's such a great mix it of is of classic with modern and it's, yes. I love it. That's like my favorite thing. I love it coming down the stairs. I love the greenery that we found that we put into the yes. vases. I love the greenery even over the bookshelves and the little trees and uh, we're gonna leave all the links for everything for you guys. I think keeping the color of the cushions was a really, not only was it a money saver, yeah. but it also really set the stage for the color in the room is a really warm color and so I think that those warm tones and all the metallics of the the candles and the oh. candle holders and... I know, I wish you could smell it. I really do because... I, well, they can. They can order the candle. That's true. You can actually. <laughs> order the candle. This is just the beginning. To me, the season isn't just about the decor. It's about really setting that stage in the beginning. And then I can't wait to bake cookies. I've got my grandmother's recipes. Both yes. of my grandmothers were always really wonderful about all the cookies and things that they made. And so we've got lots of cookies to make. Yeah. We're gonna be sharing all of these wonderful, wonderful things with you. Yeah. We've got dates with the opera and the symphony and the ballet. And I feel like the key word for this season, and I haven't ran this past you, so hopefully you'll like it, <laughs> is celebrate. 
Yes. I really do feel like we are celebrating life this year. I yes. feel like he's celebrating each other, celebrating our home, celebrating all 300,000 plus of you, but just really just celebrating all the beauty and all the great things in life. Yeah, I love it. And we can't wait to share it all with you. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out. Look down below if you're wanting to shop the room. So cheers, you guys. Cheers. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Happy holidays. I love you. I really do love I you. I love you too. Be all right.